drama between the Okoyo brothers seemingly have spread to their spouses. This time, Ifeoma, who happens to be Jude Okoye's wife, has taken to IG to unfollow uh, Peter, uh, you know, unfortunately, and of course, not just that, has also unfollowed the wife on Instagram. Now, a quick check on Instagram shows exactly as I've said. A lot of people have reacted about the issue and saying that maturity is still a stake over here. What actually is still holding uh, the bond between the Okoye brothers and why the wife of Jude has unfollowed these people? Well, guys, we've got the gist. Of course, you have to stay with us. Now, let's get straight into it. So, even after reports had it that, you know, Jude and, you know, uh, Peter uh, Okoye had issues. Remember that he had earlier said that uh, some of the monies that apparently they, uh, as Okoye brothers, had worked for, quick check that he did together with the EFCFC shows that Jude and his wife have actually uh, squandered or, and let me just say, uh, putting all the money inside a certain hidden account. And I don't want to believe that that is exactly the reason why uh, Ifeoma, who happens to be Judith's wife, has unfollowed Peter. And of course, not just that, unfollow uh, Peter's wife, that is Lola on IG. So a lot of people have been reacting to this and say that girl is so emotional and just not so intelligent. Okay, now there's a little drift about this conversation that we can we can discuss about because if it's not true that Jude Okoye has a hand of what you know Peter uh, Okoye is alleging that his wife, which is Ifilma, and of course him Jude himself, have has um, you know uh, sorry have uh, you know uh, an amount of, of of what they've worked for inside your hidden account why is she quick to unfollow these two personalities like the, the funny thing is lola is still following um uh, ifoma and is still following the, the other brothers but she upon hearing that peter had come out to say that her husband which is jude has taken some of the of the money inside the hidden account uh without his notice that alone has got her pissed. And I don't want to believe that she also would be coming up with a different side of the story. Or perhaps we're actually going to hear another drama about the Okoye brothers. I think we just had a lot already to consume. Okay? The brothers are trying to solve things amicably. But the spouses are just troublesome. Like, when, when you actually marry, you know, a terrific wife in your, in, in your, in your, in, you know, your family, this is what happens. Social media is just not having it with what Ifeoma is doing on, you know, on, 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 on social media lately. It's like, I don't want to believe that she actually is the one influencing you to do certain decisions or taking certain decisions. But clearly, you see that Lola is still following these two. And, you know, funny thing is, people have praised Lola for her loyalty. Even Peter Okoye's mom or the Peace Square brothers, their mother was so much in, you know, against the, the, the marriage of Peter Okoye and Lola. She swore on her grave that over her dead body would she allow Peter Okoye get married to Lola, just as you see on your screens. But the funny thing is, Peter Okoye went ahead to marry, even after the you know the demise of the mother. And I think that was a popular song that uh, was, uh, I think, was trending lately. Uh, Oh, see the girl that will marry that song, "Beautiful Onyine." Exactly, that was the tune uh, after she got married to Lola. That was that, that was a heartbreaking song that she, she she made for her mother. Her mom swore on her dead body that over her dead body herself would she watch this between uh, P Square, uh, sorry Peter Okoye guys and Lola happen. But you know the irony of this is the fact that the marriage that she opposed to which is Peter Okoye and Lola's marriage, is the one that is flourishing. Now, the marriage that she was so much happy and so gushing about, which is the Paul Okoye and Anita marriage, unfortunately, you know, w w was crashed. So, what actually is happening? Lola is, 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 is somebody that actually has held her forth. She's actually proven uh, everybody wrong. She's actually made a deliberate effort to make sure that she just doesn't, you know, c uh, be part of the conversation in a negative way. She's always maintained her lane. She's just doing her, minding her business. But you know, the other spouses are very troublesome and always want to have something to do or say on social media. Some people say, and of course, I, I was just reading some of the comments. Someone said that maturity is, a, um, is at play here. Lola is exhibiting, uh, you know, uh, maturity, whereas the other wives or the other, you know, uh, concubines who call them whatever are just 
baby mamas and they're all portraying you know uh i don't know what's actually happening with the okay brothers but i know for sure that um there's 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 peace right now i don't want to believe that there's another drama with the wives again like we, we have a family feud now we have to get um, a spouse you know feud like wives feud like wife fighting with wife and all of that seriously guys we just tired about this okay we just we, we want something new to talk about the peace square brothers it's not always about the fight and you know the breakup and the tantrums here and there seriously it's just getting fun i just so pissed about it like they're just tired about it okay jude has always been that very quiet type but allegedly he's the one causing the trouble you know, Jude Okoye does not talk. He does not express. Like, he, he does all come out live just as maybe Peter uh, Okoye would do. Uh, maybe he will not grant interviews as maybe Paul will do. But Loki, he's the one aggravating and, of course, intensifying, you know, uh, the beef. And perhaps that is what his wife is also imitating or copying from. Because why would you unfollow somebody that had nothing to do with the issue? Lola has not said anything. Ever since this conversation of their brother's fight popped up, Lola has just maintained her, you know, she, she, she's just been quiet about it. So why would she unfollow, uh, you know, Lola for nothing that she knows anything about? Or maybe she also feels that Lola is the one actually influencing you know, or putting words into peace, uh, Peter uh, Okoye's uh, head to be speaking as she, you know, uh, sorry, uh, Peter is speaking, of, of course, accusing uh, her and her husband of theft and all of that well the drama is just to uh go what, what, what when you go on social media especially on rg you can just confirm for yourself uh maybe if we, we can project that on your screens you can see exactly what uh has been happening on ig right now um i don't know whether it's all on social platform or just on ig but confirmation tells that indeed um, if Yoma hasn't followed um, the Okoye brothers, which specifically uh, Peter Okoye and uh, you know Lola, I don't know what she wants. I don't know what she she wants to do. I don't know what information she also wants to bring up. But definitely things really are not looking so good uh, in this. Jude really has to act like a, a real brother. That's what some people say. And I I I try sometimes to put myself in a very neutral side. But all this conversation revolves around Jude. You know, you can't, you can't talk about the Peace Square Brothers and sideline Jude's um, presence in this because he's the oldest and he sees above all what happens and, of course, what does not happen be be between the, the, the brothers, you know. And in as much as people have also wanted to push in or drag in the wives as, you know, the cause of their fight and all that, definitely we're now seeing that the wife also have a hand in the, in the, in the feud. Right now, Jude's wife is also acting up uh, for on following, you know, the other brother, and of course, on following uh, Lola, who has not said anything, and of course, is 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 seemingly brewing up a, a lot of beef on social media, guys. That is it for uh, the camp of Okoye brothers. I wish that one day uh, we could just have a beautiful Okoye family with, you know, beautiful extended family, you know, gestures and relations. But this time, I don't know. This is the real family feud that maybe uh, Steve Harvey should actually come and settle. Uh, we, we need you, Steve Harvey. Just come and settle this beef between the Okoye brothers. Definitely, maybe this time it will work. Guys, let's know what you think about it inside the comment section.